Hey guys, welcome back to another Dreamcatcher video, and I'm really excited because today we are covering the Dystopia Lose Myself EP. This is my first album review for Dreamcatcher. More to come if you guys enjoy it, but uh, the EP just dropped today, so we have to talk about it. So if you're unfamiliar with the format, I'm going to go through track by track and give my thoughts through it. So the first song on the album is Intro. Now this sets up the album perfectly. It gives a good tonal feel throughout, and it really... I tend to listen to intro into Boca quite a bit and it's all, the album's only been out for a couple of hours. It's like it feels part of the whole story, which is good, which sometimes doesn't always happen with intro songs, but Dreamcatcher nailed it there. Next up is Boca and if you need to see my in-depth thoughts on Boca, remember to check out my music video reaction in the iCard or in the description. But to just abbreviate it for you, Boca Big time, love the fusion of styles going throughout it. I think the, it's maybe, which is a really weird thing to say, but it's maybe my favorite Dreamcatcher verses throughout. And yeah, it's just a really good end of summer bop. I can't lie. And bop's not really a term I should be using for Dreamcatcher in the sense that bop and rock don't tend to really be terminology that goes together, but it is a bop. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Next up is Break the Wall, and this is the most rock that I think my playlist has ever experienced before in its life. A bit slower, a bit heavier on the instruments, um, and but it's just got a really beautiful flow throughout it, and the girls' vocals are really on show here. I, I like how it's produced, I really like the... the beat throughout it really stands out for me here. Next up is Can't Get You Out Of My Mind, and Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a song. Again, taking a bit of EDM, mashed it in with Dreamcatcher. This song is holy crap good. Like, I love this song. I mean, this could be playing in any UK nightclub, hands down. It is so universal, and I think it really... I just wish more people really liked Dreamcatcher, you know? It just... This works so well. And then we have Dear, which luckily one of you told me was written for the fans. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful song. I think the, the next we have Dear, and luckily one of you told me that this was written for the fans, and uh, you can just feel it in the lyrics. It's a beautiful, beautiful song, and you really just feel the appreciation from them to the fans throughout. And I think this is my first Dreamcatcher ballad that I've really been involved in, and I have to say that it is really beautiful and I really, I myself really appreciate it. And then the last track is Boca Instrumental which, you know, I could easily just go rock out to, to be fair. <laughs> so overall I think this, so overall I'm really glad that we managed to get through a lot of Dreamcatcher's back catalogue before getting to this point and it's just meant that I can really appreciate a little bit of the journey that the girls have gone through. We've obviously still got a lot more to cover but I'm really excited that I can listen to this EP, know who's who, and have a real good understanding of the development to this point. I have to say standouts for me are Boca and Can't Get You Out of My Head, those are top tracks for me. I don't think there's any weak points to the album, I would maybe, I'm not always fast for an instrumental on an EP to be honest, but I understand why it's there and it's not taking anything away from the EP. But. What can I say? So overall, it's at least a 9 out of 10 for me. This is a really strong EP from the girls and I pray, pray, pray it does super well and I pray, pray, pray that the girls get a win with Boca. It is such a good song. So speaking as a Dreamcatcher fan, make sure let's support Boca. Let's get them their first win and yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe for more Dreamcatcher content. Let me know what you want me to cover as part of this comeback as well. And as always guys, remember to stay safe, stay awesome.